In this video, today we will give a review on Irving and the Wait. A new studio, Gable Movies, always calls for celebration, especially given the nebulousness of company current status after supposedly shutting down in summer of 2014 following with the retirement of studio co-founder and filmmaker Hayao Miyazaki. Since then, they have still been active. Miyazaki worked on a short film for his museum. As seen in the documentary Never Ending Man and begin production on a feature. They co produced and contributed animation to the European feature to the road The Red Turtle, and now they have a brand new feature Irving and the Beach. The film debuted on Japanese television last month, their first made for TV movies since the Tranquil Ocean Waves in 1993, and is now hitting American theaters and HBO Max. And while Arwing and the Witch looks unlike any other studio, Ghibli film is still packed the same magic that makes their other film so endearing. Based on a Diana Wine Jones, the same British novelist that inspired Ghibli Hobble moving Castell, Arwing and the Witch focuses on a young, precious orphan named Arwing Kokoro Hirasawa. In the Japanese version, Taylor Peggy Henderson in English dub who is puckled from the orphanage by the Wichi Balayaga, Shinobu Tajima or Vanessa Marshall and her dominatic court the Mandarik Astishu Toka and Richard Urand. Once at home, Arvig is forced to help Bala Yoga con an incredibly mundane spell for paying customers one is called a spell to make the bus come on time and it is to help the customers pet win top prize at the dog show little by little Arvig starts to uncover what is going on the odd consistently shape-shifting house and the truth behind who her mother really was Irving and the witch is full of the studio Ghibli Halbaker you had expect by now it was directed by Guru Mizaki Hayao Son Hayao is created with a planning the film all thought in the unclear what the means exactly who has directed several of the projects for company and is full of the kind of home fun everyday fantasy that is present in much of the studio's most beloved films. There's a cat character named Thomas, the witch is familiar that could have been puckled out of Kiki delivery service and there are tiny winged demons that flit about the house that are reminiscent of similar characters from my neighbor Toto or Princess Monoki. Arwing herself is a kind of headstrong, adventurous young protagonist that frankly anchors the studio's movies, whether it's Kiki Delivery Service or Princess Mononoke or Spirited Away. And the story is told in the same deliberate Mayer's style that company known is for the occasionally baggy but with the swelty ready for the prime time 75 minute runtime, nothing sag for too long. But there is one key difference that sets Arwing and the Witch apart from the rest of the studio Ghibli Ape. This is the first feature film the company that was produced using computer generated animated instead of going the traditional hand drawn route. For some, this is something of bad trial since Studio Ghibli was one of the last bastion of fully and hand animated features. But if you look closely, it's less feel of the patrol and more of the progression. There have been elements of computer animation in several of the studio's features, including Hobble Moving Castle and Goro Tales for RTC. Goro also directed a fully computer animated TV series, although it was done in a cell shaded style. The approximated hand drawn animation versus our big and the which is full on 3D pixel style animation, and honestly, it's work. To the point. I hope you like our video. If you like, then hit the like button and subscribe the channel and absolutely free and press the bell icon for recent updates. Please leave your valuable feedback in comments below and let us know how you like our videos. Then we will make more informative videos for you. Our goal to introduce you to every Hollywood movie and English TV series. Thanks for watching.